Welcome to our second video in the Western Officiating Development Partnership. Our first part of our conversation today is going to be about pre-game preparation. And what does that look like for us? We're going to talk about mental preparation and the things that we need to do to be prepared for the ice. We're going to talk about physical preparation, not only what we've done in the weeks and months before, but what we do once we're at the rink that day. And we're going to talk about game intelligence. What are the teams like? Have they played each other? Do we have defensemen like to hit late? Do we have goaltenders that don't cover the puck very well? things that will help us as we prepare for the game. Let's hear from some of our partners. Preparation uh, starts in the morning with, with physical pre preparation, taking care of your body, making sure you have the right food in you, uh, the right proper rest. And then it gets right into game intelligence, preparing for the night, looking over the rosters, seeing, talking with my teammates about potential matchups, um, and talking about the game, the players, the coaches, and all participants involved. Oh, nice! Michael! Out of my way! Uh, it's good to know what uh, has gone on the night before. Um, my pregame, uh, going to the rink, you know, I usually try and keep it pretty loose. Uh, I used to be a guy that was pretty uptight, and I found out that didn't really work for me. Uh, trying to keep it as calm as possible is uh, what helped me best. Uh, usually about uh, Half an hour or so before the game, I start my warm up and try and get the blood flowing a little bit before I head on the ice. Their D is just super inexperienced. Yeah. They just don't have any. Uh... Yeah, their defense is super young. Yeah. yeah. All right, how's warm up? Good. Good. Both teams are uh, ready to go. Pretty quick paced out there, so should be a good game. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't much talking between the two teams, but. Uh, both teams. Tell. Yeah, both teams tell. need wins pretty bad. Yeah, it might be a little bit of animosity. Uh, you just tell it's uh, a little bit more high spirit at Marcus. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Kootenai Calgary though, rivalry, right? Big rivalry game. It's a it's a team effort. They have to prepare each other. They feed off of each other. Work with each other. Uh, they, as a as a peer group, they're constantly supporting each other, preparing them mentally before the game. Um, they have statistics available to them. So as a group. They are in constant communication and um, it overall helps them prepare mentally. They work off of each other to prepare for their games. Uh, and then on the ice, um, I feel like just uh, awareness is just a whole game. Um, so just being aware before the game, kind of what's going on. Uh, if the two teams have played before, check out the stats. Um, if it's a back-to-back, -back, contact the guys before, let them know how it went. Can't imagine they'll be too much because it's pretty important for them, right? Yeah, they all need wins, so. Um, anything we need to pay attention to over, over. I don't think so. I was looking at the box score from last time we played, and uh, it looked like there were a lot of scrums after whistles. So uh, let's get on them early then. Yeah. We talk about preparation the day before the game, sometimes the day of the game, doing game intelligence from previous contests, uh, reassessing your last evaluation, perhaps, but mentally getting prepared for what you need to do on the ice. So obviously arriving, traveling, arrive on time so you're not stressed out, get there a chance to relax. And then the physical and mental preparation starts. A little bit of stretching, a little bit of uh, conversation with your teammates who you may have not worked with for a while. So just to get your head in the right space to approach the game when the puck drops so you're ready to go. And then that's where we start talking about you know, the game and uh, any, situ any situations that we know that might arise or from previous from previous uh, uh, games where there's been situations or and just talk about the, the game in general like you know what's 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 if there's any trends or tendencies going on uh, just to start getting you know ready and focused for the game. Some great points on pre-game preparation. Let's talk a little bit about professionalism. It really starts before we're in the arenas. Once we're in the arena how do we treat the people? Our security staff, the training staff, the off-ice staff, everybody involved in the game how do we treat those people? And then once we're on the ice, how do we deal with participants? How do we talk to the coaches? How do we talk to the players? How do we deal with hard situations? It's all about how we handle and carry ourselves that gives us a professional manner. Let's hear from our partners. To me, a professional is somebody that's the eye in the, in the hurricane and they're calm while all those around them are losing their minds. And that's where the character of an official comes out and shows their professionals and they can rise above the fray and be that sense of reason that the game needs to continue at a high level. Stay right there. 
Back to you, guys. You black. You're right winger. You're right winger, my partner Costi. Change is good. Yeah. Didn't we touch it at the red line? The you can change, red Sean. Tip the red line. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Hey, I had eyes on that. I thought that was just a collision, okay? Um, obviously, just professionalism, I think you can add in there. Um, when you're at the rink, you're there to do your job. Just make sure that you're ready to do that job um, and you present yourself in a way that looks that way. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, on the PP, you hear me barking at him? Okay, so we just watch it, right? He's not, he's not, he's not doing anything silly, he's just standing there. Right? Okay, so he's putting the onus on himself then. Hey, fellas, let's clear out. Galley, we're getting real close with the stick on the hands there. Real close with the stick on the hands there. Keep skating your sticks all over his hands. Yeah, you get him on a glove, it's a slap. Right? Hey, good battle in the corner, Alfie. If you didn't get spun, well, I know if you don't get spun around to face forward, they might have had one, but it ends up like, because you don't get, I understand. I understand that he's got you tied up too, but the second that you're spun around, you're still able to make the play that you're trying to on that one. So I think if you stayed pin, pin to the wall, they might have had one there, but you did a good job battling. Moving forward would uh, just be like honesty, integrity, um, doing the right thing, respectful. I think that's all going to go along with that professionalism. Professionalism is paramount. Um, I think it's uh, it's about the integrity we take into the game, and it's a reflection on not just yourself, but the fellow officials you're on the ice with, as well as the f your fellow officials across, not just your association, province, but the whole country as a whole. We only do justice to the game if we're serving it in a manner that uh, we're holding up that level of integrity and responsibility to everyone. Some great points on professionalism. This video is showing some really good pre-game preparation, showing our mental preparation, our physical preparation, and certainly our game intel, which is really important for the teams and the leagues that we work. It's talked about professionalism. It's talked about how we treat people in the arena, how we deal with the players, the coaches, the participants in the game. And it's really a way for us to develop our officiating skills and things that are controllable for us that can really accelerate our development. We're very excited about this partnership, and we'll see you in a few weeks.